Everybody, welcome back. I'm so happy to meet you again in Eco Cartographer Finding in COVID 19 pneumonia case 6. Attention, please. Not all dyspnea is due to COVID 19 pneumonia. Be careful, please. I saw a 34 year old male patient known case of COVID 19 pneumonia on mechanical ventilation, low sitting. He failed three times with spontaneous breathing trial. Every time. Once the patient shifted to spontaneous mood, CPAP pressure support, after holding sedation, patient goes in sinus tachycardia, high blood pressure, severe tachypnea and hypoxia, and after resuming sedation, everything is back to normal, and the patient re regained calm. Clinically, the chest is clear with good reentry, no bronchospasm or added sound. Investigation, apart from increased inflammatory matter, all are within normal limit. We start by lung ultrasound in this patient. As you all of you know now, I do lung score for all COVID-19 pneumonia in several occasion, occasions. Uh, first, this is the right lung, right upper midclavicular uh, lung zone, A line zero, right lower midclavicular, A line score zero, right upper mid axillary, A line score zero, right lower mid axillary, A line score zero, right plaps, B line, conflict B line, some pleural consolidation, right lung water score 2 over 15. Amazing. Very dry lung. Left lung, left upper microbicular, A line score 0. Left lower microbicular, 0. Left upper mid axillary, only one B line score 0. It should be more than 3, 3 to, to more than 3. Left lower mid axillary, it's conflict B line 2. And left plaps, a separated non confident B line score one, left lung water score three over 15. Amazing, really. As you see, total lung water score five over 30. Great news. Difficult, difficult weaning, what's going on? Three times failed weaning, what is going on? It's very important. Go to the heart and IBC to see what's going on. IBC. Uh, collapsing with induced breath, with spontaneous uh, induced breath, uh, dilated. Let us go to the heart. Subcostal view, bulky dilated heart, global hypokinesia. Oh, we are going now to the right way. Short axis view, bulky dilated heart with global hypokinesia. Long axis parasternal view, dilated, bulky, hypertrophied heart with global hypokinesia. Four chamber view, dilated, bulky, hypertrophied heart with global hypokinesia. In the soil diameter, left ventricle in the soil diameter, 7.37 dilated left ventricle denoted chronic heart disease. First, attention please, it's very important in COVID-19 patient to differentiate between the acute left side heart failure due to COVID pneumonia related complication, stress myopathy, myocarditis, ischemic insult, or all the chronic heart failure in a patient with all the chronic heart failure disease. Very simply, you can differentiate between acute event and the chronic event very simply. Go to the guidelines of the American Society of Echocardiography. In the cardiac chamber size, there is the historic dimension here of the left ventricular internal diameter. Maximum range in the male is 5.84, less than 6 cm. This is the maximum Diameter, diastolic diameter of the left ventricular uh, di internal dimension. This is the maximum allowed diameter. As you see in our patient, it is 7.37. So it is dilated heart. With dilated heart, that means it is a chronic process because left ventricle is high, has thick, bulky wall. To dilate the wall of left ventricle, probably we, you need time to make this dilatation. It's so. If you see, as this is a COVID-19 patient with thin wall, COVID-19 patient with the thin wall, small left ventricle going with acute process, this is a chronic process with bulky, hypertrophic, and dilated heart. So, very simply, 
go to the left ventricle into the thoracic diameter. If in the male it is less than 5.8 centimeter, it's going with acute process. If it's more than 5.8 centimeter, it's going with a prompt process. It's very easy. Okay. One million dollar questions. Is the poor left ventricular function is the cause of pulmonary congestion and the failure of weaning or something else? In another way, I get very important information here from echocardiography. Is it? It is the weak left ventricle. But is the weak left ventricle is the cause of the problem? And that's it. End of the story. I get my right way or something else is going on. It's very important. Is this poor left ventricle is the cause of pulmonary congestion and the failure to win or something else? It's very important. One million dollar question. To answer these questions in a professional way, you need to go to the this amazing American site of echocardiography and the European Association of Cardiovascular Imaging Guidelines 2016 about how to diagnose the high left atrial pressure in patients with cardiac disease to be sure that this, this heart failure patient is a cause of pulmonary congestion because it, it, it affects the left atrial pressure. In these guidelines, uh, in patients with cardiac disease, like our patient, patient has our patient has global hypokinesia. You need to put the pulsed wave doublet at the tip of mitral valve and to see if the E over A ratio, E which is the passive feeling of the left atrium and the A is the atrial kick, it more than or equal to, that means our patient with global hypokinesia has great three diastolic dysfunction and the increased left atrial pressure and this is the cause of the dyspnea. There is pulmonary congestion, there is anatomical hypokinesia and the physiological increased left atrial pressure and the pulmonary congestion. But if the E over A ratio is less than or equal 0.8, there is prominence of the A wave. That means, and the E wave is short, less than or equal 50 centimeters per second. The care believes there is normal left atrial pressure and the grade 1 diastolic dysfunction. And in this patient, even if there is global hypokinesia, you need to search for another cause because this patient has no increase of left atrial pressure to cause pulmonary congestion. If not this way and this way, you need to go to the third way and you need to assess three things, average E over E uh, prime and tricuspid energy velocity and lift atrial volume index. Let us see. In our patient, in E over A prime, it is 0.81, okay? That means it is in between, but you need to check three. First, tricuspid regurgitation velocity. As you see here, there is no tricuspid regurgitation. And there is the velocity here is less than 280. That means it's negative point. There is no tri significant tricuspid regurgitation with a maximum velocity more than 280 centimeters per second. So it is a negative point. This is number one. Number two, this is the E over A prime. This is the E, which is 53, the passive feeling of the left ventricle. And this is the E prime, lateral E prime, by the tissue doubler, which is here. It is 6.84. As you see here, 53 over 6.8 is less than 10. Uh, in this way, if you are taking the lateral E prime, it should be more than 13. And this is less than 13, that means it's negative point. If you have two negative points, it's, it's okay. If I, you get your target, the patient has no diastolic function grade uh, 2 and uh, no left atrial pressure. But the third point here is left atrial volume. And as you see here, the left atrial volume of the patient is 25 milli. It should be more than 34 milli per square meter to be a positive point. That means we have tricuspid regurgitation velocity, negative point, E over A prime, negative point, and the uh, left atrial volume, negative point. So if you go to <clears throat> Here we have E over A point is negative point, tricuspid regurgitation velocity is negative point, left atrial volume is negative point. If two of these or three uh, are positive, you are talking about increased left atrial pressure will grade to the source function. But we have already two negative, that means it's normal left atrial pressure will grade one the source function. The function. Our patient has 
grade one that's all dysfunction with normal left atrial pressure you cannot blame the weak heart for the pulmonary congestion in this patient you need to diagnose to treat okay in this way please please check heart valve if the lung is clear and the no increase in left atrial pressure you need to, to to go to the valve you will you will get your point in the valve okay let us go to the valve this is the aortic valve amazing you see mass here in the aortic valve bulky mass obstructing the outflow tract in the five chamber view and when we did color <clears throat> you see severe marginal aortic regurgitation by long axis parasternal view and with five view here, chamber view color view color nobler you will see marginal aortic regurgitation when the effect severe but uh, to to get properly the uh, accurate uh, assessment of severity of the aortic regurgitation you need to explore the aortic valve area area by tilting the probe anteriorly and posteriorly to get exactly how maximum is the regurgitation and uh, you see when we tilt the probe posteriorly <clears throat> in the aorta you see there is horrible aortic regurgitation here horrible aortic regurg feeling almost all the ventricle and the cat explained very clearly this acute uh, dyspnea and the failure of the weaning in the patient and the, when we put the continuous wave doppler in this horrible aortic regurg you will see here bulky aortic regurg flow very significant aortic regurg flow as you see here with descent rapid descent denoting severity of this aortic valve disease it is amazing really when you see <clears throat> the mitral flow there is turbidity all around the mitral below flow because of the diastolic uh, aortic regurg and when we put the continuous wave doppler in the aortic valve we find also aortic stenosis the maximum flow velocity here is more than four centimeter going with severe aortic stenosis and aortic regurg patient was referred to another hospital take home message Please don't blame COVID-19 for all patient deterioration. First, if the lung is dry, it's not pneumonia. Second, <clears throat> don't forget that COVID-19 patient may have chronic cardiac or lung disease exacerbated by pneumonia, and you should search for. Thank you for watching. See you on another project. Bye bye.